Hi, I'm here to talk about the concept of irreducible complexity, which uh, intelligent design proponents uh, use as evidence that there must have been a designer of the world. And by that, they usually mean uh, some kind of magical ghost such as God. Now, uh, the famous proponent of this is Michael Behe, and his most famous example is the common mouse trap. And this is what it is. I got a little bit of peanut butter on there because mice like peanut butter. So you've got uh, a base and uh, the hammer and a spring, and there's the catcher holding bar. Um, and this is a little thing where if the mouse touches it, um, it goes to nibble on. Oh, mouse got clobbered on the head. It's probably gone. So it works pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I get them when I want to get rid of mice. So he says, if any one of the components of the mouse trap is removed, then the trap does not function. In other words, the simple mouse trap has no ability to trap a mouse until several separate parts are all assembled. Because the mouse trap is necessarily composed of several parts, it is irreducibly complex. And that's basically his argument about it. So how good an example of an irreducibly complex system is a mousetrap? Here it is. My first suggestion is let's remove the trigger and just put the bait directly on the hold down bar. Now we could from here substitute the same kind of wire for the hammer as we use for the spring. The trap will still function and uh, be a little bit simpler to maintain. Next thing is we could remove the staple from the bait end of the hold down bar by simply jamming that into the wood by the bait. It will still function. The next reduction in complexity would be to eliminate the staple at the other end of the hold down bar and just jam the wire into the wood there and the trap will still function to kill mice. Now we could eliminate the hold down bar entirely by having the hammer rest on a loose end of the same wire of which it is composed and this trap will still function to kill mice. Now the hammer doesn't even have to be U-shaped Using less wire can simply be the bare end of the wire that kills the mouse, and this trap will still function. And the trap doesn't need to be attached to its own base. We could attach it to the floor, and it will still function to kill mice. Now the next reduction of complexity could be the elimination of staples altogether. This trap could be carefully positioned where it needs to be, and still function. In fact, the trap doesn't even need bait if it's positioned correctly. We could simplify this trap by removing the coils and just using the springy wire. Here we have the very reducibly complex mouse trap, a piece of springy wire bent so that the ends touch, but when disturbed, close in a scissors fashion. I'd like to thank John H. McDonald of the Department of Biological Sciences at the University of Delaware for these illustrations and these ideas. Thank you.